Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it and I'm so happy to have you. So today I'm sharing with you guys something that I just recently discovered for the first time. I went to Walmart earlier this morning and I was looking for their DIY dip kits. I heard that they have a few. I did find all of them. I'll put them on the screen and I'll share them with you. I really didn't know what one to go with at first, but then I finally did some research and read some reviews and this is what I ended up going with. So I tried it for the first First time today and this is what it looks like on my hands so you're gonna see everything that I do from start to finish and everything in between it's so simple it's so easy it was so affordable they had kits from $12 to $15 to $20 so affordable you can do it at home you get that quality salon look but at home on the cheap cheap on the affordable I should say you guys know I'm the queen of the deals so I'm so excited to be bringing this to you and I will have everything that I show like all of the kits that I found today I'll have them linked down below so if you're interested in if you want to try these out for yourself then check out the description everything will be down there for you to shop I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do and you want to see more like it then give it a thumbs up be sure to so this is called Serena Dip Itty this is by Color Club it's the future of color it says and this is the Ooh La La starter kit 21 day wear at home nail color dip kit it says it's easy to apply, no LED or UV light needed, long lasting chip resistant color and gentle formula. This comes with the bonding gloss, instant activator, blush cleaner, it comes with three different dip powders, French tip, more and more, and three wishes. It also comes with a file that has four different sides, which is really nice and convenient. What's also really convenient is that the directions are listed right on the back of the box. So you always want to start off by washing your hands, then you're going to want to take a file and shape them. Then you're going to want to take the buff side of any kind of file that you have, or if you buy this kit, then the file that comes with it, and gently just buff away the top layer, get rid of the excess oil. Then you're going to want to remove all of the dust from filing with a dry paper towel or wipe. And then I personally grabbed a cotton ball and I soaked it in alcohol and I wiped down my nails. Okay, so now we can actually get into the good stuff here. So step number one is to apply the Bond Gloss to your hand. And personally, I think this is more of like the glue. It is really sticky, so be careful not to touch it. So you want to apply that to your nail and then immediately dip it into the powder. It does dry rather quickly, so you want to move rather quickly. Tap off the excess powder as much as you can. The powder can get a little messy, so be sure to grab a paper towel. And then moving on to nail number two, you're going to want to do the same thing. Apply the bond gloss all over your nail and then dip it in the powder, tap off the excess. Same thing for nail number three, number four, and number five. And then you're going to go ahead and repeat this process as many times as you like until you get the desired look and opacity that you are wanting. I personally did three coats and that worked for me. And here you're going to see a very confused moment for me because my brush started hardening up and it felt so weird. So I referred back to the box and at the very bottom it does say that if your brush starts to get hardened then you can swap out your brushes and put that brush in the brush cleaner solution which is the blue bottle in just a few minutes and that solution just like wiped all the product away and I was ready to go again next step is to use the instant activator and it says to apply a generous amount of this being sure to cover your entire nail um, including to cap off the tips of your nails and then you allow for that to dry for one whole minute so once the instant activator is fully dry, then you can go ahead and shape your nails um, to your desire with the nail file. And then you'll want to use the buffer side of the file to smooth out the surface of your nails. Then you want to rinse your hands with water, no soap, dry your hands, and make sure that your nails are especially dry. Next step is to apply another coat of instant activator to your hand and allow that to dry for one minute. And then with a dry wipe um, or a paper towel, which is what I used, you want to wipe down the surface of each nail, making sure that nothing is on it. Then picking up the bond gloss again, you want to go in with your first top coat. You're going to apply this one really quick though, so two to three very quick brush strokes. You're going to allow that to dry for 15 seconds. And then after those 15 seconds, you go back in for a second coat with the bond gloss. This time you can use a little more of the bond gloss um, and make sure that you are a little more detailed and you can work a little slower. The back says to wait about one to two minutes until your nails are fully dry, but for me it took like five to ten. I don't know if I just like used too much or what, but do allow like an extra few minutes just to make sure you don't smudge anything. And then afterwards you can wash your hands and apply a cuticle oil or hand lotion, something to put that moisture back into your hands. 
So being that I'm a complete newbie and rookie at this, I will say I am pretty impressed and happy with the way that these turned out. I mean, you can definitely tell like where I messed up, but I do know what to do and what not to do for next time. So I mean, they're not perfect by any means, but of course it's a learning experience. I just like went in blindly and did this for the first time. I've never even had dip done at the nail salon. I've always done gel. So this is like a completely like whole new world to me. <laughs> but honestly, for a new beginner who has never done dip before, Ever, like I can honestly say that this is like pretty good for a newbie so don't be scared if you are new if you've never dipped into like gel or dip or anything don't be afraid to do this at home and try it for yourself because honestly like if I can do it you can do it too <laughs> so definitely give this a shot if you're interested I will have not only the kit that I use but all of the kits that I showed and all the ones that I found at Walmart in the description so you can check them out all right that's all I have for you guys today I love you so much thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video I know there's like literally thousands of other videos out there so really means a lot that you're watching mine don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already tell everyone you know to subscribe and share my videos because like I said once we hit that goal of a hundred thousand subscribers I will be announcing a huge giveaway just to say thank you and to give back and show my appreciation and I'm so excited I know we can get there but I definitely need you guys' help like this video if you want to see more like it and yeah I love you guys I upload about four to six days a week I will see you tomorrow or the next day in a brand new video love you bye <laughs>